everybody and welcome back to my channel channel hello everybody and welcome back to my channel <laughs> i look horrendous that's okay that's totally fine it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how I look on here because by the end of this I'm gonna look beautiful. But um I didn't know what to film this week. So then um you know what happens when I don't know what to film? QA. Get ready with me. The easiest route. And I like to answer y'all's questions. Um very transparent, we'll tell you anything. So um yeah, <laughs> let's get started. Um, the makeup look I have in mind, I didn't want to do something basic because I just like you guys see my basic make normal routine so many times. Um, so I'm gonna do something fun. I have this liquid lipstick and it like kind of matches my hair. My hair is so faded right now, like I need to re dye it so bad and my roots are like grown out, but like whatever. We're not gonna we're not gonna think about that. But I think I wanna use this in like a way to make a graphic liner on my eye. And then I'm going to put rhinestones. Before we get into the rest of the video, we have a sponsor. So I'll see you guys in Ow! I just poked my... I got, I got my nails done. Do you guys like them? Ooh! Peachy vibes. Anyways, um, we have a sponsor. Let's roll it. Hello and good morning, my beautiful besties. The sponsor of today's video is Tula. Which is crazy to me because I used to work at Ulta and they sell Tula at Ulta. And it's just like a full circle here. Circle. Circle. It's a full circle. Thank you, Tula, for sponsoring this video. I'm going to be showing you guys um, my morning routine that I have been doing for the past couple of weeks. And I'm going to bring you guys along the journey with me and show you guys some of the new products. And yeah. So this is the Glow Season Radiance Routine Kit. And it has all the things to getting getting you looking cute for summer all right thing is okay let me just say this before i get started obviously i don't have perfect skin and that's what i love about tula because their their whole thing is not to have you know it's like making you just feel comfortable in your skin it's not about making anything perfect like i'm not gonna get on here and be like oh my god life-changing products we're here to be comfortable on our own skin and that's what i really love about tula because um it's not we don't want to you know come on here and just say be like oh my skin is so perfect look at this blah blah blah, blah. like i want to be comfortable in my skin and that's what i love about tula because they make products um with probiotic superfoods cruelty free um that's amazing literally all the like the best things that you can have in skincare Tula has and i just think their whole slogan of just like not being perfect and um just embracing the skin that you already have and just like keeping it healthy um is just really cool to me because um my, i have acne prone skin and it's just like that slogan in itself makes me feel secure and i truly genuinely appreciate that but yeah let's get started tula are doctor founded products um I just spilled them in my sink. That's okay, they're durable. Number one, a part of this Gradients Summer Kit is um, the cleanser, their stable cleanser that they have. Um, this is a probiotic superfood cleanser. Um, it's the Colt Classic. So we're gonna start out with washing my face with this and then we're gonna get on with the rest. So let me do that. Make sure to be gentle with your skin, all right? Next, we have the Brightening Treatment Serum with, um, I'm pretty sure it's triple vitamin C. Yeah, triple vitamin C. Um, we're going to go ahead and put this on. Make sure not to touch your face with the dropper because that is cross-contamination in skincare. And you never want to do that. Next up, we have the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. And I love this because it's so convenient because it's, look. Are you kidding? You don't have to go through the whole thing like squeezing your eye cream out. And then to top it all off, we have the Perfect Plus Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad Spectrum 30 um, SPF. Beautiful. You always need sunscreen in your, skin, in your skincare routine, especially it's summertime now, babies. 
and this has such a nice beautiful glow to it like i'll show you guys look how nice and beautiful and glowy my skin looks it's all protected from the sun ready to go for the day a couple things that i forgot to mention the sunscreen the um protecting glow um sunscreen gel um it's a gel so it doesn't um it doesn't clog your pores and it is reef safe so you can wear it in the ocean and protect all the little all the little sea creatures and it also does not leave a white cast on your face if you're worried about that the bag that it comes in is limited edition and it's actually by an artist based in la her name is let me get it correctly i don't want to say it wrong zara nazarian um she's an la based artist and she's on this bag it's limited edition so cute all the products that come in this bundle um are full size and it's valued at 157 dollars all these full size products almost half off almost 50 percent off so go to tula.com right now um and click the link in my description um and use corey at checkout um the code corey go grab this cute little limited edition beautiful bag with all these full-size products and get your skin looking right for summer all right i did my eyebrows i don't know if you guys have been known been knowing but i've been doing my eyebrows differently i've been doing the feather brow look um I don't know, half of you guys are telling me that you like my new eyebrows better, and a lot of you guys are telling me you like my old ones, so I don't know which one you guys like, but <laughs> who knows. Um, I'm going to leave all the products that I'm using down below, but we're answering questions here, alright? Someone said, how do I confidently wear a crop top being chubby? Um, you literally just do it, and you literally just like don't care about anybody else's opinion, because does anyone else's opinion genuinely matter? The only person that should be worried about what you think is yourself. And what you should think is that you're a bad bitch and you're able to wear a crop top. Because is there a fucking law that says that chubby girlies or chubby people can't wear crop tops? There's not a law that says that. And you know what? At the end of the day, people really genuinely don't care. And if they do, um, that's their issue. <laughs> Because if you're so bothered by somebody that has a little bit of chunky chunk coming out of their shirt, like, I wear crop tops and I freaking confidently have my little chub out. And, but if you really think about it, like, no one really cares, like, genuinely. And if they do, they're like, they got issues in the brain because why do you care just keep the mentality of like um if this person is judging me for wearing this then they have an issue and i look like a bad bitch that's what i think someone said what was my favorite part about adulting uh literally not one thing well no i take that back okay i don't like i don't like a lot of parts of adulting because obviously i had to fucking pay bills and do stupid shit like that and friggin you know I don't like paying money unless I'm getting something good out of it but um I don't even like paying money then but my favorite part about adulting is like I can be able to like go in my car and like drive and like say I'm like damn I really want fucking some Oreos right now or like something like craving something and like I'm an adult and I can just be like oh cool like I can leave and go do that like I have the <laughs> I have the I have the ability to do that so that's probably the only good thing <laughs> how am I so confident okay to be honest it's all a facade just kidding um no but um it's genuinely just like been over the years I've gained confidence because I've just gotten to the mentality where I'm like literally nobody else's opinions matter like nobody else's does so it's like why should I be so wrapped up in what other people's think that because I feel like that is the main thing that has to do with confidence is like um like you are so scared of like what other people are thinking of you um but you know if you just take the mentality of like like being so scared of what other people think about it about you out of your head and just like you know be your own bitch um then you start to get this confidence because you're not so worried about having to fit these beauty standards or having to worry about what other people think you look like because i i pretty much said this already but it's just like that's how i gained my confidence like you know what i mean my favorite chip flavor, like chips, I love spicy Funyuns. <laughs> What's one life-changing thing? I 
I'm filming. Y'all hear that beast? It's my dog. Raymond, shut up, please. I'm on set. Someone asked me what was one life-changing event that happened to you. Um, a lot of people know this, but if you're new to my channel, um, I fell off a cliff in a car 180 feet and it flipped six times and um, that definitely changed my life forever. My dog is still barking, um, but that definitely changed my life. I am talking about my PTSD here, sir. He's not letting me. But, um, yeah, falling off a cliff was... Ray Ray, no! Is, um, yeah, falling off that cliff was definitely life-changing. Um, if you guys don't know, I fell off a cliff. It flipped six times, it landed in water, and it was, I almost, like, fucking drowned because the car was filling up and I couldn't get out. And then, um, it was just really, um, really, really, really scary. I wasn't driving, somebody else was driving. A lot of you guys already know this story. I talk about it a lot. Only because it's just fucking, it's traumatic to me. And it's like in my brain forever. But um, it was definitely life changing because I seriously cannot get into a car um, with somebody else driving um, without being on edge the whole time. Like I'm terrified of somebody else driving me. Like even people that I trust so, like my boyfriend, like I trust him so much. My mom trusts her, my dad trusts anybody. Like people that I'm so fucking close to. Um, I will still be terrified of driving in a car with him just because I'm absolutely scarred of that person driving me off that cliff. Like, I'm absolutely scarred. Like, I really truly have PTSD from that car accident. And it's like, the only person that I trust to drive is myself. And like, I just, I can't, as much as I trust you, I seriously, like, I'm, t I'm still terrified and I, I can't help it. Like, I literally, like, I can't. Like, I wanna, I wish I could be like, oh no, I trust them, it's okay. It's like, no, my brain goes into fight or flight and I'm like, I can't control it and, it and it triggers memories even if like someone's not even driving crazy, you know. But when they are driving crazy, oh my god, I go crazy. I get so scared. I'm like sweaty palms and everything, like want to start crying, like not okay. That was definitely probably the most life-changing experience that I've ever had because I think that it's going to affect me forever. I think that I will be affected by it forever, for sure. Another life-changing experience was um, one time, I'm not going to name the specific thing that I took, but um, it was my friend's birthday. We wanted to have a good time. We had a great time, right? Pretty much, um, we had a great time doing this one thing. Um, not the M, not not Miss Molly, um, the other one. Um, but um, the M, that makes it sound like the M-M. But, um, but no, not Miss Molly, Miss... Um, Miss you know the other one we were like okay like we want to do it again it was like three days later and we we're like let's do it again it'll be so fun um and then my friend was like um i have my friend like worked at a super eight <laughs> it's like a motel she was like you guys can come and stay in a room and like do what you want to do wink wink um and this and that and like you can have the room for free and it'll be a fun experience whatever whatever um and it was like yeah um and then she was like this lady that is a regular at my hotel or motel which should have been a warning honestly um she was like oh that's a regular here sells that stuff so she was like um if you want to do it again um i can get it for you guys from her and i was like oh that's cool like cool so um we go to the motel <laughs> This experience was literally traumatic as fuck. <laughs> and we meet this lady, you know, seems trustable as it seemed. Um, and then um, pretty much we take this pill, right? Thinking that it was what we had taken the time before. Uh, no, we were up for 58 hours. Uh, just in a motel or a Super 8. Um, yeah, it was definitely not what we thought it was. Um, it was so fucking traumatic. I hated how I felt. I literally felt like I wanted to crawl out of my skin. Um, it was the worst experience in my life. Um, and what, um, why that is a life-changing experience is because I will never take anything from a lady that I don't know. Unless it's, like, a fucking, like, present that's, like, nice. Or, like, I don't know, something else. Not fucking... Well, that's what I thought.
It was. Obviously, it wasn't. Do I shave or do I wax? I used to. I used to get my coochie waxed. Um, and my armpits wax. Or no, wrong. I'm wrong. What am I saying? What the fuck? I used to get my coochie and my armpits. Um, I used to shave them myself. Um, but then I just recently started waxing. I actually, I actually have a waxing appointment. As you're watching this, I'm probably getting my coochie wax because I get it on Friday, but today is not Friday. But um, Friday, I'm getting my coochie wax. So, yeah. So, as you're watching this, I might be getting my um, coochie hairs ripped out. But, yeah, I get, I get them waxed. <laughs> Do you plan on having babies in the future? Yeah, I want so many babies. I want babies. I want to be a mama. I want to be a mama. I really want to be a mommy. Not anytime soon, but like I want to be a mommy, okay? I definitely want to get my BBL and my boob job before because I want to like live it up and like have like a fucking banging bod, you know, um, before I um, give birth to children. Because I definitely want more than one. One. But uh, yeah, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I'm definitely going to have kids. Family channel! <laughs> <laughs> imagine though I feel like I'd be such a fun parent so it would actually be a very interesting um a, a very ouch something's poking the fuck out of my ass ow um I think that it would be a actually very interesting family channel like I feel like it'd be fun so um look forward to that but like maybe in like six years maybe not now so uh, if you guys are you guys are still here in six years that'd be fucking great because maybe I'll have the family channel then <laughs> but yeah someone said what do you admire most about yourself or are you proud of? I'm proud of how um, like dedicated I am to doing certain things um, and how dedicated and how much I love people. Um, you know, I, it's okay. So I used to think like, okay, I used to, or a lot of people have this mentality that it's like if you want to compliment yourself or, you know, put yourself on this high pedestal that you're being cocky or you're being, um, self-centered i don't even know what words to use but um it makes you look like you think you're hot shit or whatever but no you need to think of yourself highly like no fucking just like freaking what's it called it's like i'm not i'm being serious right now like i'm being genuinely serious like you need to think highly of yourself um and put yourself on that high pedestal because you deserve it but anyways um I admire my heart and that I have for for people. Um, I'm a very forgiving person. Um, I just admire the type of love that I give to other people, um, like unconditionally. I don't know. That's what I admire about myself. I also admire um, like the work drive that I have. Like even if I like feel like shit and I don't want to film because I'm fucking depressed and my fucking borderline personality disorder is like, no, bitch, don't fucking do it um and i still do it um and i admire that about myself i admire myself for being able to get myself out of situations um that like you know like when i'm really down with my mental health um i admire that i'm able to get myself out of it myself um without help um which i think is really cool and i i don't know and i also think i'm a really fucking great friend which is why it's kind of weird i don't have a lot of friends but um you know that's all right. Sit here and name three things that you love about yourself. Because you know what I just did? And you should too. It, it'll make you feel good. Okay? No more beating down on ourselves. We're bringing ourselves up. Pause the video and think about three things that you love about yourself. Or comment that. Comment it. Comment three things that you love about yourself. I would love to hear it. Thank you. The hardest lesson I learned. Hmm. The hardest lesson that I have learned, I still am working on this one, <laughs> but it's like not everybody is going to be like you. Not everyone's going to have the same heart as you. Not everyone's going to have the same mentality as you. Um, so the hardest thing that I've had to learn is like not to expect what um, you're giving out because um a lot of the time that's not what's going to be reciprocated so um i mean unless you do find people that give you the same energy back and i'm talking like family members boyfriends um friendships like you know not everybody's gonna have the same heart as you and um i had to learn that
because it's like oh my god i'm treating this person so kindly why aren't they not treating me back it's like okay because not everybody is like you Corey. not everybody is like you that's something that i had to learn for sure uh still kind of learning it honestly if you were a guy for a day what's the first thing that you would do i roll out of bed in the morning and put on what i wanted and go drink beer with the guys while they chase up just kidding okay um i don't know what i would do look at my freaking weenie i don't know <gasps> fuck i want to say what i would I, what i would have wanted to do but i'm gonna get demonetized i would want to um nobody under 18 be watching this and none of my family watch this but i would want to know what it was like to you know you know like yourself as a boy like what does it feel like i would like to know what it was like to, as a boy you know that's what i would want to know like because i know it probably feels different than a woman no i know it feels different than well i don't know but, but i think i know so like scientifically but like i know it feels different but i just would like to know what it felt like you know maybe not <laughs> Have you ever had any paranormal experiences? I have not, but my sister tells me that, um, because my sister would sleep on the couch sometimes, and she tells me that there's this black figure, like this black, this just this black tall figure that is stands at the bottom of my stairs. So he might be like chilling out there sometimes. I don't know. I never seen him personally though, but yeah, in this house. I wonder if he hears me talking about him. Please don't hurt me. I rebuke all neg negative energy. Thank you very much. But anyways, favorite Kid Cudi song to cry to. Mine is all along. That shit will make you so sad. Um, mine is love because it's like, <laughs> I don't know. If you're sad right now, like right now and having a bad day, go listen to Love by Kid Cudi. It will make you feel so much better. He's literally saying, I am happy to be alive. That's my favorite one to cry to because if I'm having a bad day, I'll put that on I'll cry, but like cry happy tears. Um, don't be so down. Come on, young, young homie. You'll be okay. You'll find real love. All the stories, the hero gets lonely. Now is the time to show what you're made of. All the stories, the hero gets lonely. Now is the time to show what you're made of. Like, that's a beautiful song. Go listen to Love by Kid Cudi. Love. Literally just called love. <laughs> Would I rather have a bird beak for a mouth or bird eyes like a pigeon? Bird eyes like a pigeon. Wait, no, that means I would have really fucking tiny eyes. Like, really tiny eyes. I wouldn't even be able to drive a car. Like, my eyes would be so small I wouldn't be able to see anything. Mm, I would take the beak. Have I ever pooped my pants as an adult if you do tell us a story? I have not. I truly have not. I wish I had a story to tell you guys, but I haven't. I have never even sharded either. If I wasn't doing YouTube, what do I think I'd be doing right now, good or bad? They said good or bad. Hmm. I don't know. I probably would still be working at Ulta if I'm being completely honest. They want me to work back there again, <laughs> but the way that I quit at the other location was like hr is like uh she can't work here <laughs> because i just up and left that bitch because my manager was a fucking asshole fuck you tyler see this is just gonna keep me from ever being able to work there i mean i probably wouldn't want to work there again anyways but you know fuck you tyler you were a fucking shit manager i hated you and you were so mean and condescending and i just wanted to punch you in the head i'm can't even get in trouble for saying that because fuck you tyler anyways um, yeah, but I'd probably still be working at Ulta, but I'd be working at the location that I loved, um, where, like, I, like, live now. But the location that I'm talking about is when I lived in LA. I just, like, up and left because I fucking hated that manager, and I just, like, didn't give a two-week notice. I literally was just like, bye, you're literally making me so mad, like, I can't be here anymore, or I'm gonna go crazy. Like, I hate you. I hate you that much. So, yeah. Corey, do you know how much I love you? Me and my mama, Lupe, if I said hi, if you said hi, Lupe, she would literally explode. Oh my god. I love you and your mother. Hi, Lupe. Lupe, I love you. I love you, Lupe. I love you both. Don't explode. Please do not explode, Lupe. I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna answer some questions. Oh my god, look at the time. Three, three, three. 
beautiful someone asked my big three my big three i am a sagittarius sun a gemini moon and a capricorn rising i'm 16 should i quit vaping yeah that's when i started and i haven't been able to stop so stop now before it gets out of hand little lady okay i did the other eye and they're not even this one like goes upwards and this one goes downwards but it's okay someone said how do you know when someone or something isn't good for you if you're asking me that question then they're not good for you because if you have to question it if you have to sit there and wonder are they good for me or are they not they are most likely not good for you time to put on jewels oh my god my camera's running out of battery I'm going to go put the jewels on my eyes while my camera's charging and I will be back with jewels on my eyes and eyelashes and then answer the rest of the questions. Okay, all I did off camera was, <laughs> I look like, like, completely different. Um, I put on gemstones or rhinestones, whatever they're called, and some lashes. Do you guys like the look? I think this color matches my hair pretty well. That's what I was aiming for. But yeah, let's get into some more questions. All we have left is the lips. Um, so let's get into that. Someone asked me any future tattoos. And yeah, I have like a couple of mine. But I'll tell you the one that um, I've been thinking of like a lot. My dad frequently texts me, um, be good to your brain. He'll text me, be good to your brain today. And um, that's why I started saying it to you guys at the end of my videos. Because I'm like... It really stuck with me when he told me that, um, he, to be good to my brain, and, um, I was like, damn, like, yeah, like, I need to be good to my brain, I only got one, you know what I mean? Uh, so, ever since he told me that, it's just, like, really, really stuck with me. That's why I tell you guys that in the end of my videos, because I feel like it's just a really good piece of advice in general, um, so I started saying that to you guys. Um, but I want to get it tattooed on me in my dad's handwriting. The way that I literally got that tattooed today in his handwriting, literally got it. I told y'all. But that's definitely what I want to get next. But I have like a bunch of other ones that I want to get to. And I just think that it's a really fucking cool thing to say. And I never heard anyone say it before. But yeah. Someone asked me what are good crystals that I recommend for beginners. I think that every person should own a rose quartz um not only because it like strengthens and like helps with love in every aspect of your life whether it's a relationship family friendship anything and self-love which i think that rose quartz is the best for everybody needs to love themselves you need to love yourself bitch so um rose quartz amethyst um start off with rose quartz and amethyst i feel like those are two really good ones jade um obsidian is really good for protection um yeah jade obsidian amethyst rose quartz i think those are some good ones to start off with someone asked am i still living with my parents yes i am still living with my parents um but i am definitely going to be moving out soon like it's literally like in the works like i'm working on moving out like right now like it's in the works so if you see me with the new back setups anytime soon um you'll know i have left my parents house but it's not for any bad reason like i love living with my parents but um it's just time for me to blossom and go on my own someone asked me what age i lost my virginity at and what it was like I think I answered this in a Q&A already, but it was, um, it's hard to talk while I'm putting on lipstick. It was, um, 8th grade, like, summer going into freshman year, so I believe I was 14, and it was with my, um, best friend, which was, like, he was, like, my guy bestie, like, loved him, um, and we were, like, wanna lose our virginities to each other, and then we were, like, yeah, <laughs> and then it happened, and it was really weird. It's, it's an odd experience. Yeah. I was really young. Um, really, 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 really young. But we were the same age. We both didn't know what the fuck was going on. We were both, we, we were losing our virginity. Virgin, why is it so hard to say? Virginity? To each other. To whatever, bitch. You know what I'm saying. We both lost it to each other. Um, so we both didn't know what was going on. Um, this is the look. I'm gonna go do my hair because, and I put on a shirt on and tie in this whole look together but yes that was my q a i'll be right back with my hair done Alrighty, everybody i literally put on such a plain shirt <laughs> i 
I'm only going to Cheesecake Factory with my family because my cousin's in town and I'm going there like this. But you know what? Fun! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so freaking much. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> Be good to your brain. Like I was talking about earlier. Be good.